what's going on, on top of this building up here? Because they're hiding under a whiskey billboard. Go figure, they have actual whiskey. They have gas canisters. Same as that. Same one we've already read before, though. <laughs> Just a sign pointing over here that says Augs. So that seems that it would seem there's an Aug living up here. And they have a steering wheel on their bed? Is that, is that a joke? Let's see here. Uh, unknown recipient and sender. Alright, and it's not been sent yet either. Yes, 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 I've gathered from stuff I've found around the district. I don't know how long I have until the Nazis find me and either shoot me or send me to Golem City. I'll take one last chance tonight. I want I watched the Technor owner get into a storage locker the other night. Code 9356. Might be some useful tech for us, then we'll be on our way. You'll meet me by my place later, right? I'll show you what I did to the place. Have some fun. I bet people will wonder what the fuck went on here, and who could possibly have carried all that shit up here? Ha! <laughs> I bet it's an Og. Oh my god, screw them. It'll be tough to get out of the city unseen, though. It's not like we're naturals, right? We can't just walk out of here, so they keep telling us. So we might as well use these Ogs for something. That doesn't sound like it's ending well, but they, they know the code of the Technoir owner's locker, that's something. So they just kept hauling stuff up here, and this is where they were sleeping? They even took the Og sign, which is kind of funny. There's so many little details everywhere. Aren't I near Technoir? I am. It's like right- the, the locker's probably right down here. In fact, they probably watched it from that vantage point. Boop! Got your absinthe! What? Is, which one could it be? Technoir. It's even labeled. How convenient. Ninety-three fifty-six. Hello. How do you feel about hacking software and a breach? I guess it was a given that a breach would be in here. Uh, processor chip. Nuke. A few virus software types. Secret button that opens this door. Whoa. Does this go into their store? Let's go ahead and hide for a second. Because apparently I have access to the next locker over, too. Hey there. Why are you guys freaking out? Stop freaking out. They're freaking out, so I'm just gonna go back to hiding in here. A lot of guns in here. Hello. Credit chips. Lots of alcohol. I wonder if this is the wine place or the magic place or something. What details? For the most part, there's just a rug. I don't know, it's a bunch of, bunch of alcohol, carpets, and guns. Enjoy figuring out what, what the uh, correlation is between those things. Shut up, that's racist. Alright. Where does this go? Get a secret door? It totally goes into Tech Noir. That's cute. Also, don't want to get seen coming out of there, so... Stealthing! Woo! I was here the whole time. Hello, Tech Noir. How you doing? In the market for something, aren't you? Am I? You've come... Welcome, welcome. Nice gear you've got here. All high-end. And you look like you know high-end. Which biotech did your job? Not Isole. They don't come in black. You try this on all your customers? Just the ones made of carbon fiber. As one enthusiast to another, you can tell me. I'm gonna have to disappoint you. Maybe you can make it up to me. You look like the kind of man who might have access to breach software. That stuff's illegal. Come on, man, don't play around. You know why it's illegal. You know the world governments don't want us to find out their dirty secrets. But we will, and you can help us. Be part of the revolution. Anyway, just think about it. All the details are in the computer. Want to have a look? To sell or to buy? 
Well then, suddenly I have context for the whole breach software thing. Sure. Great. Go ahead. Um. Um. This is fantastic. The cause is very, very grateful. Take this. A gift for a true freedom fighter. What's happening? Oh, the store. Okay. I was like, what is happening right now? That was a... That's, that felt like a less than developed interface element. Just the word breach software sold was just flashing violently on the screen for a bit, losing its mind a little bit. I wonder what they're worth. Maybe a thousand each? I wasn't really keeping track that closely on what I was at. Anyway, I have more to sell too. Let's see. Tactical shotgun. Get rid of that. Apparently this guy will just sell all these things. All right. So chew. Absent. Nano blade ammo. I don't think I'm ever going to use that. Nah, that's a murder weapon. Welsh whiskey. Somebody was saying that some alcohol is worth a lot. Uh, so far that doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe I'm missing which ones they're talking about. But uh, all the ones I just sold were worth crap. Stun gun ammo. Do I have any other types of ammo yet? It admittedly hasn't been that long since the last time I was selling stuff, but... Sure as hell stocked up, didn't I? It's too many painkillers, but they're so garbage to sell that I feel like I should keep them on regardless. Alright. You can buy a stun gun. No, thank you. Bio cells and multi-tools can be bought here for not that much. Interesting how multi-tools are so much more valuable, but I could have sworn they had similar crafting costs. Interesting. Hacking. Oh, you can buy all the... You can buy all the hacking stuff you want to help you out. Ammunition, not that interesting. Okay. Eh. There we go. I still have a fortune of money. I might as well just buy all the hacking software the guy's got. Seems like a useful item, usually. Ah, oh, these are limited use, too. I'll just buy those, too. Let's use some of this money, damn it. <laughs> That's not just a display. They're for sale. I bought your stuff. I bought, like, most of the things you stock. Why does no one ever talk to me like I'm buying things from them? I'm good for now. Don't wait for planned obsolescence. Did I at least get a bunch of... Did I get a bunch of experience or something at least? No? What was the breach software worth exactly? Have I never been to Technoir before, by the way? Anyway, so now breach software. Aha! Now it's all listed as being sold. Ah, and it lists the ones you it lists, it lists the ones you trade linearly. So apparently, I've unlocked two breach rewards, which must affect something about the breach game. But I don't know what breach is yet. Maybe one day I'll know. I've got almost half of them. That's not too bad, at the very least. This has been a, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Also, your bodyguard. If you're interested in certain uh, specialty items, you should ask the guy behind the counter. Okay. So even the legitimate businesses have the whole bodyguard setup thing going on. That's slightly odd. I mean, this city kind of deserves it, so I'm not that surprised. It's just, I just kind of have associated with thugs so far. I'm sorry. I was about to start something, but then I noticed a vent that has not been opened before. So I'm curious. Also, I think I just walked into but good uh, cop, bad cop anyway. The pocket secretary he gave me uh, mentioned a cop up to something mysterious in Prague. Why am I not surprised? The cop was talking with, uh, with someone named Jacinta and mentioned a, an apartment near Maxim's above the cleaning place. Alright, let's see if I find it. Also, let's just see. Whoa. Is this entire room full of toxic gas right now? I'm gonna go and update my save real quick. Maybe it's just the... Uh, Nope, this is all toxic gas. Can I open the door? Would that help? Why is your room full of nightmares? Is it like some kind of weird security system? Naturals only. Why? So they can die? Your clean Your cleaning supply has a gas leak right now, buddy. Uh, that's a problem. 
Where's it even coming from? I can't really tell, honestly. Weird. Can't see where the gas is coming from, and I can't see anything worth grabbing around here either. Also, whenever I do this vision thing, it's gonna make my ow thing run out faster. That was a mistake. I'm sorry. Please stop dying of die of death. I'm so sorry. I made a terrible mistake. There we go. All better. All right, yeah, let's just commit to this. There we go. Now let's be able to look around a little bit more. Archive boxes. Propane empty. This place does not seem worth it. It's just full of gas. It's like they just specifically designed it to basically mess with players who want to search everywhere for stuff by making a house full of death poison and uh... They made a whole house full of death poison and uh... and cockroaches. The fake kind, of course. And then just nothing worth grabbing. Oh! I can't stop looking. I can't stop! It's everywhere. Where does this one lead to? An auto store? Okay. Bike parts, mostly? Not necessarily a ton going on here. Whoa, electrical hazard down there. Yeah, I think these are mostly just... Some of these are mostly just decorated, uh... Decorated storefronts and not so much places where stuff happens. That thing is standing up. Do they have low health or something? What was that? It does have low health. So if it breaks, it's probably gonna blow up and that's not good for me. Let's try to avoid that. Rizika's vision of the future. A member of the National Progress Party, Rizika was a prog native and a former professor of the economics who had gone on to work in the corporate sector. She represented the ideal for many of the new post-communist generation, an intelligent and highly educated woman bringing new vigor and fresh insight, and someone who wanted to transform an old system. And in 2018, he, she was elected president of the Czech Republic in a landslide election, becoming the country's first female president. Under Rizika's guidance, the Republic quickly embarked on a program of intense industrial investment to regain its economic stability and exert financial independence. Her vision was to strengthen the nation into a global power through economic means. Her government quickly opened its doors to corporations, especially those in the fields of technology, finance, and medicine. Progressive pro-corporate legislation was enacted, and in, by 2010, the country's privacy laws were so radical and so much in favor of banks and corporations that it threatened Switzerland's monopoly as a financial haven. Oh, that's not good for a lot of people to go that heavily pro-bank at the cost of everybody else. Still, I don't think anything's going to happen in here, really. Oh, well. It was a nice location to check out. That room is probably jam-packed with all sorts of unique assets that don't show up anywhere else in the game. That kind of attention to detail for such little parts of the vo and locations is kind of neat to me. So getting on top of that roof would be nice. I could do that if I get onto that. That might be possible. Get on, get on the planner. There we go. Huh? Nope, not like that. Not like that. Alright, so I need something to jump on first. Sin Eater! <laughs> That's adorable. Let's see. Oh, this is a... Uh, oh, hello. Oh, that's neat. It's like a, it's a sky screen or whatever you want to call it. Like those covered things. Like you see those at like Las Vegas and stuff like that. It all has a projector along this hallway. That's a neat detail. Holy crap. How do you even take in all the details about this place? In some hacking software, maybe? The fact that this entire place looks different at night kind of adds, really adds to the whole thing because... There's so many details that don't make sense during the day that they have to only really show at night. So they made a pretty nice, like, living and breathing sort of city. That's impressive. So I need to figure out how to get to where I'm trying to go, and this is not going to be how. <laughs> yeah, no. Not exactly. So I need to wait on top of that building. If I get on that, I can go over there. Doesn't seem likely, though, so let's try the other side instead. Ah, Falling guy may be my answer again. 
I can probably use that. So that's something I can climb. Can I hack it from here or something? Aha! Oopsie, how'd I mess that up? It was like every square inch of the area over there was covered with the thing I need to click on, and I managed to miss it. Nailed it. Good thing I ha good thing I picked up that power, huh? All right. Careful now. Hit. Got it. All right. Cool. Getting closer. Our goal is this building over here. That's the balcony I want, huh? Oh. Someone's dead? Again? Everyone's dead all the time in this game. And they got neuropazine. Well, that's not a good sign, is it? He almost looks like the... Oh, handgun casing. A spent casing from ammunition typically associated with handguns issued by Prague police. Oh! Well... That's not nice. So the pol so he was killed by an officer. And it's probably he probably lives here, huh? I'm sorry for disturbing the body. So what do I what do I do to deal with the situation? Can I report these things? Like, can I? I'm just not clear at the moment of whether or not there's follow up on this stuff, or if it literally is just a point of interest of like, oh look. There's a room with an interesting little bit of story, and then maybe you like, do you just discover, yeah, like it's just disappeared from my points of interest. Do I just discover that little detail and then we move on forever, or can I do something about it, is the question. Crafting parts. Not much going on there. Well, I guess if nothing else, it's another apartment for me to loot. Like some, like some sort of nightmare monster that just likes to take things for no good reason. I'm not even doing anything with the, with the, with the fact that I'm taking all this stuff. I'm mostly just taking stuff because I can. What did I just power on? What are you hooked up to? Not the gas, is it? Because the gas hazard was already there. I don't see any walls opening up. I don't see any secret compartments on the floors. What did I just do? Let's see here. Uh, from Jonas Klon, uh, Kloninsky, or Klon yeah, Kl Kolinsky. Jonas, Jonas Kolinsky to Gerard Romero. Last chance, G. I'm reaching out to you as a friend now, and I believe and believe me when I say this, I am the only friend you have left in our corner of the force. You want to refuse to play along with the volley, that's fine. You're welcome to grow old and die. Cash poor and morally rich. Congratulations, uh, Saint Romo, but fucking with your their operation and sneaking good bodies out of the city. Yeah, surprise, surprise. I've worked out what you're doing, hero. We all use that part of the sewers, genius. Remember, it's not like you. It's not like it's not just you who knows when the patrol drones are on charge. When the Diwali's lose in, in rev, uh, what the Diwali's lose in revenue hits. <clears throat> sorry, hits us too. Remember, we're onto a good thing here, Gerard. Why fuck it up? It's too late to drop out of the club, so just sit tight and smile whenever someone asks you if all's well. If you continue to refuse to pull your dick out of the pie. We'll be forced to cut it off. Do yourself a favor, take my advice, and look forward to a merry Christmas with your kids. I hope th that this is, I hope this is the one and only time we end up talking about this. Rut row. From Paul, from Pauly 134 to Samaritan X. Oh, so this person has the identity of Samaritan X, which is where the, and this is the where he's saying, uh, stop with the good Samaritan shit. Let's see here. This is from Polly134. Mr. Romero, Jacinta Valenquez gave this address to contact you. She, uh, she say you have a safe way from Prague to help people in trouble. We don't have much credits, but she said you don't care about that. Please, Mr. Romero, if it's true, please help. I think the Diwali's look for us. 
we were in a truck and they laughed and said we'd be in special uh, movies or prostitutes even. I don't know. Something happened. I think there was an argument because he heard we heard shooting. It was a miracle. There were six of us, but now only four. I think they're dead. We're, we're still hiding out, but what should we do, Mr. Romero? Can you really help us? Paulina. Paulina, go to the sewers beneath the poor district. Ch tell Jacinta what I've said, and she'll st uh, show you how and where you can get in. Don't talk to anyone about this. After dark, 8 p.m. sharp, do not go earlier than that. This is very important. The gate will be open with 6122. I'll meet you there. Be there at exactly 8 p.m. Thank you, Mr. Romero. The sewers beneath the poor district. Can I look into that? I'm curious. Where is the poor district exactly? Is it over here by the... Adams? There's a beer place. Collar's over there. We haven't seen him in so long that it's actually getting kind of weird, honestly. Where's the poor district? Is that a specific location? Oh, red light district, Diwali district. Police checkpoint, courtyard. Is there literally a place called the Poor District? Because that's kind of unfortunate for the people involved. Um, I don't know. It'd be hard to say. But somewhere there's a sewer that now has I have a code for. It might be over here where, where I started off. Church of the Machine Have I been to the Church of the Machine Gun yet? I don't remember if I actually visited their crazy location before. I just know they were preaching to me in the apartments. That might be worth visiting, too. This town's crazy. What's this over here? Right, that's a main objective. Those things that I keep not doing. Maybe it's time to finally talk to those people about a few things, huh? Might be about time. Hip. Don't be alarmed by me. Just jumping out of windows like a crazy person. Alright, just gotta go... Actually, just hang straight for a bit. Just take the main road. Let's go meet with Smiley. We haven't met with Smiley. We've been ignoring these main quests for quite a long time now. What are you doing? Just staring at the thing? Being crazy? Just sort of practically ram into her while, while charging down the hallway. Like that's normal. Alright. Hello. Hello. Haven't been around to here a lot, have I? Just so busy doing, I don't know, robbing people, looking in people's apartments, meddling with affairs, trading neuropazine for tips about rooms to basically loot, but that have interesting stories to them for a bit. <laughs> I am not very good at actually following my case, am I? Oh, some extra stuttering from loading the next area. Oh, lasers. I've been down here for a while, have we? Alrighty, buddy. People are just randomly shouting my name when I walk by. I've heard the name Jensen already so many times. I found money. Just randomly looting money from somebody's desk. Why wouldn't I? Let's say kettle? <laughs> what? Okay, sure. That's a weird thing to animate, but why not? I saw something behind the computers, didn't I? Am I crazy? Whoa, knocked everything over. Sorry. Ish. Sorry, ish is more accurate. I just wanted to just saw something over here that I wanted to grab, right? Maybe I'm crazy? Oh, well, there's scrap on the floor over here. I'm gonna grab that. Thank you. Let's get to Smiley's office. It's been a while. Whew. Oh, hey, Adam, what's going on? Miller sent me to... Check on my progress? Really? I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right, so... Well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like Bomb's timing mechanism. And get this, it's a Stanic. A Stanic? 
The bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... using a low-tech solution is really clever. Standard watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop a visit. Hmm, it's probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. Nomad Stanek, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. Nice, I'll check it out. Great, let me know how it goes. Well, there's a start, huh? Let's see who we can meet up with. Alright, uh. Should I take a pay visit to this shooting range already? Yeah. One more thing to clear off the list, right? Let's go seek it out real quick. Maybe it'll be a little fun or something, I don't know. Shooting's kind of boring, usually. Hey there. How's everyone doing? That's my access card. So what do I do for you? At the very least, maybe it's a place where I can grab some things. Hello. Crafting parts, and... It's kind of hidden around in the corner there. There we go. Might as well check around and break everyone's locks like a maniac. That's that. All right. Uh, oh, this is just a side room. This isn't even the actual shooting range, is it? Oh no, there it is. Let's do it. Why not? We're only like 30 plus episodes in, or 40 episodes in. I forget now. It's not like I know how to shoot a gun yet. Actually, I haven't been shooting guns, so sure, why not? All right. Um, there you are. Hi there. All right, let's so shoot the targets. Oh, I gotta shoot them over and over again. Okay. You Learn something. It does. Oh, headshots. A if double tap. Oh, there's not a lock in this game. I didn't know that. Of course, you know a headshot is the fastest way to take down a target. But watch out for helmets. They'll slow you down. This is straight up a gun tutorial. <laughs> You just keep loading. Oh, they're even teaching you how to pick weapons. This is a weirdly late inventory. A weirdly late tutorial. Destroy. Destroy. They're even teaching you how to change ammo types. Alright. Gotcha. And them. And them. Remember that agent. The right tool for the right situation. It could save your life. How long did she wait for me to show up? Because I didn't show up for like a day. These are tougher to disable using regular ammo. Oh actually I think that's a different woman actually. Uh swap back to the pistol. Alright, we're using that with, uh... Oh, EMP runs over here. Alright. The whole top of the gun just changed? <laughs> Are you gonna move around? Okay. Once you've disabled a security device, your armor piercing rounds will take it out more easily. You should always have at least one backup weapon, so you can improvise, adapt. Overcome any situation. Hoorah. Are you not- are you Seems the person like talking? Let's go over some of the other aspects of your weapons. Oh, now her mouth's moving. It wasn't moving a second ago. Weird. 
So we're gonna put on our combat rifle. Oh, you have to use that in this menu. Silent. Well, yeah, we have an entirely custom interface now with none of my previous stuff. A silenced combat rifle. I like how silencers reduce sound, but the trade-off is less stopping power, less damage per hit. But the upside is, it's apparently silenced uh, combat rifles. I didn't know that was an option, honestly. Completely non-reactive to the whole situation. Remove the silencer. You can do that? Oh, you can swap it on and on. Oh, so it becomes a permanent upgrade for that weapon, but you can still sw swap, switch it out. I'm surprised about that. Ah, back to normal. But if you need to be quiet, Adam, the silencer's the way to go. Just remember the decreased damage. You know, there are several other types of attachments you can use to upgrade your weapons. Keep your eyes open for them. Where are you looking? So we're supposed to look for crafting parts. We, oh, 400, that's a lot of crafting parts, okay. They're, they're showing you how to upgrade your weapon. This really is a tutorial, isn't it? Okay. Uh, X, LB. Switches directly to regular ammo. That's very specific. They want me to customize it. Boom, full auto. Right? That's what we're going for, I assume. That's why we're here. Or we're trying to do capacity. Right. Again, reloading your weapon before it's empty saves time. You say that more than once. Okay, sure. This is. This feels like a weird feature. Oh, that's armored. That's not good. Pistol in full auto will take down targets fast, but it'll burn through your ammo. That's why you gotta murder more people for more ammo. Ha ha. That's your refresher. But I'm sure you already knew all that stuff, Adam. Feel free to come back anytime. Yep. Did in fact know everything. Alright, well, curiosity peaked. I know I now know what this whole thing was. Alright, they sure made this thing. <laughs> Let's get our normal gear back on. And go off on an adventure.